sometimes we have more than one pivot table on one excel sheet and in case there is any data change then we have to update all pivot tables one by one so here i have five pivot tables on this sheet and data is available on another sheet so let me show you what is the data if i go to sheet named data so here we have five columns and this data is being used in all these five pivot tables so here we can see that let's say in this pivot table we have sales and east so for east region in sales we do not have any numbers and we can see in first pivot table also we have blank now if i go to data tab and for east we don't have any sales so i'll change this it into sales now i have made one change in data i'll go to pivot tables again but here no reflection of that change so manually what i'll do i'll select any pivot table then we can see two tabs are being added analyze and design on analyze i can click on refresh and same i'll do in each pivot table so let's say if we have more than like 50 60 or 100 pivot tables then it becomes very time consuming so instead of instead of manually updating each pivot table what we can do is we can write some macro or we can use vba code for this task so here i have added one button this button i have done some vba programming so let me go to developer tab and i have clicked on design mode so that i can come out of design mode and now when i click this command button what this button is doing it is using vba code and we can see that data is updated in each pivot table so here in this tutorial i am going to show you what is that vba code that we can use to refresh all the pivot tables on a sheet at one time so i'll go to developer tab and then i'll click on design mode and then let me double click on this command button and let's study this vba code what i have done is i have declared one variable named as pvt we can give any name and object type is pivot table after that i have used one for loop that will run through each pivot table so for each pvt in active sheet dot pivot tables and then variable dot refresh table and then next so by using only four lines of vba code we can just assign these four lines to any command button or we can design macro and use it to refresh all pivot tables at one click or one go so this will save a lot of our time instead of refreshing each pivot table one by one we can automate it we can write vba code and assign that vba code on command button or even we can use that vba code directly so thanks for watching this tutorial if you like it please subscribe to my channel for more vba tutorials thanks